I'm Sherry Kay, award-winning pianist, composer, and national cooking contest finalist. I'm also known as the Jazzy Gourmet, because when I'm at home, I like to jazz up my meals, and now you can too. I just love layers, don't you? I don't know if it comes from the Legos and Lincoln Logs of my youth or what, but I just love stacking things especially when it comes to stacking pumpkin and chocolate together on top of a Biscoff crust. My rich and creamy chocolate pumpkin mousse pie is dreamy layers of pumpkin, cheesecake, and chocolate all nestled in a Biscoff cookie crust. Are you ready to do some layering? In a medium bowl, mix melted butter, Biscoff cookie crumbs, and chopped pecans until evenly moistened. Press crumb mixture firmly onto the bottom and one inch up the sides of a prepared nine inch diameter spring form pan. Bake at 325 degrees until crust is set, about 15 minutes. Cool completely. To make the filling, combine sugar, brown sugar, flour, egg yolks, and a small amount of milk in a medium heavy saucepan. Gradually add the remaining milk and cook over medium-low heat until the mixture has thickened, about 7 to 10 minutes. Once the mixture has thickened, turn off the heat and add vanilla and a pinch of salt. Measure out one cup of the filling and add chocolate to the remaining. Combine well until the chocolate is melted and smooth. Mix the one cup of filling that you took out earlier with pumpkin and pumpkin pie spice. Put plastic wrap over the surface of the filling so that it doesn't develop a skin. Pour the chocolate filling into a bowl and put plastic wrap over its surface as well. Refrigerate both fillings for about a half hour to an hour. Mix the unflavored gelatin with water to soften it. Place the gelatin in the microwave to dissolve for about 30 seconds or until you see the sides start to bubble. Whip the cream in a well-chilled bowl until stiff peaks form. If you want to know how to whip the cream, watch my episode of How to Make Fresh Whipped Cream. In a small bowl, combine powdered sugar with softened cream cheese. Add a third of the gelatin into each of the filling bowls. That's about two and a half tablespoons per bowl. Mix thoroughly because the last thing you want are chunks of gelatin in your chocolate pumpkin mousse. Next, fold a third of the whipped cream in each of the bowls. Now comes the fun part. Put the chocolate filling on top of the Biscoff cookie crust that we made earlier and stick in the freezer for about 10 minutes. Top the chocolate with the cream cheese layer followed by the pumpkin layer. Each time sticking it in the freezer for about 10 minutes to firm up before you add each additional layer.
At long last, it's time to reveal my chocolate pumpkin mousse pie. I can't wait to show it to you. I can't believe this. Somebody else got to it first. Oh, somebody ate half of my chocolate pumpkin mousse pie. Oh my goodness, I was going to decorate it and everything. <laughs> oh well, must have been good. I'm Sherry K. Jazzy Gourmet. Why be ordinary when it's so easy to be jazzy?